Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Sagis. Welcome back, Sagittarius. How are you, my love? I hope all is well, Archers. I hope you're taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Archers, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. Get comfortable. Okay, honey? All right? We're going to dive deep today in regards to your love life. All right? What's going on around you when it comes to love? What's coming towards you when it comes to love here for the month of August here? All right? Shout out to the Evolving Spirits. Shout out to the Soul Tribe. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. I appreciate you so much, Evolving Spirits. Shout out to the Soul Tribe. Gang, gang. I can't say it enough, and I will keep saying it until I can't say it a no more. Okay, Sagis, I appreciate you for the ones who have joined the Soul Tribe. We have such a good time there. If you would love to join the Soul Tribe, please click that join link down below, Archers. It gives you exclusive discounts on your personal readings, your email questions, your love live stream questions arrive when I go live. You also get a discount there. Any booking that you do with me, you get a discount, all right? And that's each and every time. We also have our own private community, all right, where I do post daily content over there as well, all right? So definitely click that join link down below and join the Soul Tribe Archers, all right? So first, we're going to start here with the Love Romance Angel deck here, all right? Shout out to the new color for the week. Yes, the new color here is the color pink, my loves, all right? So that talks about your love life, all right? That talks about... You know, using some of you guys, I encourage you to get the crystal for the Rose Quartz Crystal if you don't have it already here, okay? Some of y'all may have it already. I love this crystal. It's one of my favorite crystals. Anytime I'm feeling like I just need some love in the air for myself or I want to make sure that I am communicating from a place of love, I always carry around my clear and my, um, no, not that one. I wanted to say this one, but I do definitely carry around my clear quartz crystals as well, along with my rose quartz crystals as well here, okay, or my pink quartz crystals, however, but I love them, and I just love the texture and how it feels, Archers, okay, but definitely if you're looking to bring love into your life, that's a perfect crystal for you, all right, when you're manifesting love, when you want to give off love, when you want to be in a place of love get you a rose court a rose court crystal there okay all right so let's move forward there i feel like someone needs to hear that okay duffy if you know even when when i was going through my press my process of healing even from a broken heart that's a good crystal to wear around your neck and your purse on you if anything on you is the best okay or to have around you all right, that's a good crystal for healing your heart as well, all right? So let's dive into your reading here, Archers. We're going to see how you and your person is currently at this time here. What's the connection and what's coming towards you in regards to love here as well? What's the potential outcome for you two as well here? All right, so let's dive on into it. I'm going to do three shuffles here and then we'll get you and your person spread out here too. And three Archers. All right, so let's see what's going on here. All right, Delphi, shout out to the color pink this week. All right, Delphi, wear the color pink. All right, eat some things that you may find that are the color pink. All right, focus on the color pink when you're meditating to bring in love as well. All right. Now, we have your person here at the top. All right, Archers, and then we have your energy here at the bottom. Then we have the mutual energy between the both of you. And then we have the challenges here in the future, possibly for you two here or currently. Let's see what the overall energy here. Whoa. It was soulmate here at the bottom of the deck here, love. Okay. Soulmate energy is here. All right. So some of y'all are just now recognizing that this is a soulmate here that you are engaging with here. This is a soulmate energy here that you will be meeting here in the futures for the ones that haven't met 
this person here. This is what you don't expect because this is at the bottom of the deck here, archers. Wow. I wasn't even expecting it. Okay. All right. But however here, yes, this is your soulmate, Sagittarius. Lean in, honey. Let me let you get a good look at your soulmate here that's coming in. Okay. Well, they won't look exactly like them two, but however, you get the drip, okay? Some similarity where you two gonna be all up on each other. I know it ain't gonna be able to keep your hands off of each other here, okay? All right? So for the ones that are kind of skeptical, know that your person is coming, okay? Don't rush this process. You want your person to be crispy, clean, okay? And that's definitely how the divine is gonna have them, okay? The divine ain't gonna send you no bullshit. So it's worth the wait. It's worth every minute, every second, every hour, okay? It's worth the wait, all right? So don't rush this process. Be working on yourself. Get that love course, all right? Crystal for yourself. That rose course crystal for yourself, all right? Focus on yourself. Focus on loving yourself. So this person will be able to love you the same way that you're giving love back to yourself, okay? And know that this person is your soulmate. Some of y'all, this is confirmation for you. For the ones that have already met this particular person here, Archers, okay? Yes, this is your soulmate. That's confirmation for you. There wasn't no accident on the coincidence on how you clicked on this video, my loves. Okay, all right. So let's see how your person here feels, Sagis, in regards to this connection here. We have release your ex. Wow, the time has come, Archers, to clear your energies, okay? So your person here is viewing the fact that you're needing to release your ex, okay? Or you are in the process or the energy here or releasing your ex here, Archers, okay? So this is how your person feels here, okay? Some of you all, your person feels like you, Sagittarius, need to release your ex here, honey, okay? It's time. You have your soulmate that's coming in here, all right? Or even your person here. It's time for them to clear the energies so you can come in as well here, okay? This could be referencing to you, Sagittarius, needing to clear your energy here or release your ex or your person here is needing to release their ex. It sounds like just a cycle here that hasn't closed completely out or that is still lingering on here. And your guardian angels and your ancestors want you to release your ex here. All right. Wow. Let's see how else your person feel towards you here. Ooh, we have romantic feelings here. Your feelings are real, sad G's, and worth exploring here. Okay, so like I said, you two are going to be all up on each other if you're not already. Okay. All right. There's a lot of romantic feelings here. All right. Towards you. A lot of passion here. Okay, a lot of love, all right? Just being yourselves naturally, not thinking about how to approach each other. I feel like this is just happening naturally for you, for how they're kissing each other in both of these pictures here is definitely happening naturally, okay? It's not something that you have to talk about or be like, okay, who's going to kiss each other first? All that bullshit. It just flows naturally here, I feel, with you and this particular person, or it definitely will, okay? So, wow, archers. We have separation here. Yeah, time apart from your partner is on the horizon, okay? So I definitely feel, Archers, that you and your person here is definitely dating each other, getting to know each other. I definitely see that there is still a additional energy around you, too, that is lingering here, right? This is your person here, Archers, or an ex from you, okay? Or an ex from your person here, okay? And your guardian angels or their guardian angels and ancestors, Archer, your person here, it was trying to inform them that it's time to release an ex here. There is a separation definitely on the horizon here, okay? There is definitely a situation here that's going to receive a tower moment here if this doesn't happen, okay? These are two cards that came out here. Rather, this is you, Sagittarius, needing to release someone that you are currently with, and this is how your person, again, feels towards you all right and and just in the back of their head they like yeah it's time for Sagittarius to release that person because I'm coming in now okay or this person is like yeah I feel like I'll come in when Sagittarius release this person or separate themselves from this particular person that you may still be communicating here with archers all right know that you need to release your ex or your person feels like that you need to release this person if you're still holding on to an ex here, okay? 
and vice versa. This could be your person's energy because this is your person's energy at the same time. Yes, this person feels very romantic around you. They really feel the love that you two have. And it's definitely worth exploring here. And this is how this person is thinking. Like, damn, this is worth exploring with Sagittarius. And I can't wait. It's fucking worth it. But I know I need to release this particular person here that I'm with. Okay, so your person here, Sagittarius, may still be in the process of separating themselves from someone or getting a divorce here or whatever's going on here. But they know, okay, just as well as you all know, that it's time to release your ex here, okay? So that way this can move forward here with this romantic feelings and this soulmate energy that you two have with each other, all right? So let's see how you feel, Archers, towards this person here. Wow, we have expressed your love. Yes, Archers, go ahead and make the romantic gestures. Yeah, some of y'all, this is someone that you're just getting to know here, or you've been noticing this person or you've been engaging with this person here for at least a month or a couple of months here on down the line, okay? It hasn't been a whole year yet. Some of y'all, you're just now getting to three months, right? Or even six months here for some of you all, okay? I really feel this is fresh and new for some of you all, okay? Some of y'all, it's been a whole year almost now, and you're getting ready to take things to the next level, all right, but your guardian angels and your ancestors want you to speak up, archers. Don't be afraid to express yourself, okay? All right, and you feel this way towards this person as well, Sagittarius. This person may keep themselves, you know, sometimes quiet. They may not express as much as what the fuck is going on up here, okay? Some of y'all fuck around didn't even have a clue that this person was engaging with someone else. Or I'm not stating as like a third party situation here. I'm stating that this person is still having some, you know, some ties with this person or still attached to this person financially here. Or they may could even have a child together here, a family together where they're trying to get situated here and separate themselves from, okay? Because they knew and know a long time ago that this was needed to be released, okay? And this probably was like the last straw, the last situation that they had to take care of and remove from this cycle that they're closing out here, okay? But definitely here expressing your love towards each other here is definitely a okay thing to do, obviously, from spirit, from your guardian angels and ancestors, because they're literally saying, go ahead and make the romantic gestures, right? Some of you all are still in that place where you're separating yourself as well, Archer, from a past lover or ex, as well as your person here. Some of you all, your timeline, you may both have already reached that point and done so, and you're getting to know each other, right? Others of you all, you're already going to the next level of commitment. It's going to be different for everyone. Everyone is on different timelines here. All right, we have stay optimistic, Archers, about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you together, all right, and bring you romance here, okay? So know that don't give up, Archers, when it comes to your love life, all right? Don't give up when it comes to love coming towards you. Love comes towards you in all types of form, fashion, all right? You will be surprised, okay? Don't go out looking for love. Allow love to find you, okay? But however, some of you all, your person here may be giving up when it comes to love here as well, because this is how you at the bottom see your person here, not being as much as expressive or communicating with you like they normally do or like you know that they would do at this time because you are picking up the energies from this person here. There's definitely a connection here between you two. But what I feel like is going on behind scenes in regards to your person, Archer, is that they're going through a separation, okay? They may not be informing you this or may not be, you know, telling you this here, but they're definitely releasing some people, places, and situations that don't no longer resonate for them. They may not want to tell you that because they may not want you to feel some type of way. This person may feel like they need to handle this situation on their own before they even move forward and express themselves to you, okay? Everything will definitely happen during divine timing because this is already a spiritual connection here, without a doubt. This is already a spiritual connection, so it's not going anywhere, honey. You two are definitely soulmates. You definitely have met each other once before in your past life, okay? So the energy and the love that you have towards each other it goes into lifetime after lifetime after lifetime so it's no rush here okay you two are just crossing paths with each other again during this lifetime 
So one of you all going to be end up obviously separating from someone. Okay, maybe last time it was you, Sagittarius, or maybe this time it's your person, right? So it's going to be different for you, okay? Wow, yes, look at that. This is the energy that I was feeling. I said that it was new love here. This is something new. This is someone new that you're getting to notice here or engage here with here, Archers. It says a new person has steered your romantic feelings, okay? So do you see why now? That is it important for you not to give up when it comes to your love life and even your person. It's like you two are right around the corner for each other and you two don't even realize that. But you're literally around the corner for each other. Wow. So like I said, some of you all, you already met this person and you're getting to know this person. It is beautiful between you two and you just enjoying this person's energy just as much as they are enjoying your energy. Others of you, like I said, this person hasn't even came in yet. You may have dreamed about this person several times here, right? You may have felt this energy coming towards you. You might see it in movies or you may hear a lot of love songs here lately. You may have been getting a lot of synchronicities here. And this is why, because someone is coming in. Someone is about to steer your romantic feelings again. Okay, someone about to pull those walk, those, uh, those cobwebs, thank you, spirit. They're about to pull those cobwebs back. Okay, honey, you been having a lot of cobwebs up there. And they're about to get pulled back because you got a new lover coming in here, honey. Somebody's about to knock the dust off of that over there you got going on. Archers, I'm just saying, rather I'm talking to a female or a male. They about to knock the dust, honey, off of that, honey. Because look at all this. Y'all up all on each other. That dust about to get knocked the fuck off. And you better fucking believe it. So just when your ass was sitting here in front of give up and allow some more dust to get up there and up in there, baby, that's about to get knocked the fuck off, okay? Look at the mutual energy between you two. I can't make this up, Sagittarius. Getting to know each other. Like I said, you all are getting to know this person. This is someone new for you, and this person is you new for this person here. It says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, archers, your bond deepens. So it's going to get very deep between you two, honey. This is about to be a strong magnetic attraction here. If it's not already here. And this is a mutual energy. So you both feel the magnetic pull towards each other. You both feel the soul connection between each other. When you two meet up each and every time. It's like you can pick up where you left off each time that you guys communicate with each other. And that is beautiful. So let's see what the possible challenges here can be. We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, all right? So the more that you allow yourself not only to forgive your parents, Sagittarius, but forgiving yourself, okay? That's very, very important. So this doesn't block you when it comes to your own love life or just love overall, all right? Understand that our parents didn't get a handbook all right, when they got down here, but they did the best that they could do, all right? And even for the ones that you may felt like didn't do, forgive them, okay? Find forgiveness in your heart so you can enjoy and create the way you want your family to be if you feel like your family or your parents didn't do what you feel like you can do as much as your parents didn't get the opportunity to do, right? You could be the generation or the bloodline to make that happen. So each other parents that come in after you or generations after you archers can do what it is that you've always wanted your parents to do for you. All right. So do you see how important it is to allow yourself to forgive yourself and your parents here as well? So this is going to be the challenge for both of you. I'm not just talking to you archers. This is a problem here or an issue here that could be solved here beforehand in the future for you too. This is going to be the challenge here for the both of you all is forgiving your parents because of maybe how they raised you or how you were brought up or how the way they did things or how the way they said things here, okay? It's time to allow forgiveness in your heart, Archers. Definitely work with that rose quartz crystal. That's definitely going to help you in regards to healing when it comes to your family and love overall, okay? Wow, Archer. So let's see how your person feels towards you. Beautiful spread. 
definitely if the reading has resonated so far all right archers don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up show spirit some love again if you're new here welcome welcome my love subscribe be a part of family this is definitely what we love and we evolve each and every day here on this platform all right know that you are lovable know that you deserve love archers all right and i am available for personal reading sagittarius if you would love to book a personal reading all that information is down below in the description box my love let's see this card literally jumped out over my table here archers okay so let's see how your person feels here we have you are all mine no one can't have you damn gina so this person here ain't playing no fucking games okay some of you all they may be a fire sign like yourself okay this person could be a sagittarius a leo or an aries here but they not playing around okay they said you are all mine sagittarius and no one can have you mm, 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 mm. i bet y'all like that shit huh and turn you on and turn you on sagittarius you like that shit you like a person that can take control let me find out or vice versa they like how you like to take control saggies i wasn't the fly on the wild i don't know i'm just pulling cards for your ass what else Gordon angels do we have for archers as we close out your reading here today definitely stick around we're going to get some word advice as well from your Gordon angels and your ancestors archers what else in regards to this beautiful connection this is a deep connection here honey y'all better get ready I never got over you. Bam. Okay. So some of y'all, this is someone that could be from your past. So this could be this ex that we was referencing to here earlier, meaning releasing your ex here, that separation that's going to take action here, take notice here that your person wants you to know that they never got over you. Okay. So yeah, you could be battling with the old and battling with the new here, honey. Okay. What else for the angels? How else did this energy here feel? This soulmate energy here feel towards Sagittarius that's coming in here and for the others that have already met this person how did this person feel oh what do we have here you are all that matters to me oh so sweet so this person really puts you on this pedestal that it's all about you that you're the only person that matters to this person here okay wow we have I'm not letting you go Wow, this person is definitely going to hold on to you, Sagittarius. It's a dear fucking life, okay? This person is not going to fucking let you go, Archers. Like, all these cards are like, no, you're not going anywhere. No, you're mine. We got you are all mine. No one can have you. You're the only thing in all that matters. I'm not letting you go. So whoever the fuck this is, look, they, it's going to be hard to let their asses go, Okay. Some of you all, it's this ex that it's hard to let them go or it's hard for them to let you go, Sagittarius, or your person here. And others of you all, this person is just like this new person. Like They're like, how did anybody let you slip through their fucking fingers? How did they let you slip through their fingers? Because I'm not letting you go, Sagittarius. So your person here, this soulmate energy, this new person that's coming in, they're going to be like, how the fuck and who the fuck will let you go? I ain't never letting you go. You mine, baby. Okay? Yeah, that's what I'm getting from this card here as well. Some of y'all, this person may have already told you this, or you've already told this person this, Archers. We have, I keep having wet dreams. Oh, my God. Sagittarius, this person is very attracted to you as well on the side note there, okay? This person finds you very attractive, okay? They very much look at your pictures, okay? This person definitely does a lot of fantasizing about you. They have dreams about you, I feel here. They get a lot of telepathically communicating, I feel like, with you two in the dream space as well. You may see this person in the dream space. You may communicate with this person already in the dream space. A lot of telepathically communicating here with you two archers all right guardian angels ancestors of the highest light what do we have for sagittarius placements when it comes to this connection here what word of advice here can the archers take away from this spread definitely if the reading resonated don't forget again to like subscribe and hit the notification bell again i am available for personal readings all that information is down below in the description box my loves this was a beautiful reading room today it definitely spoke a lot of volumes here okay what word of advice here, Gordon Angels, do the archers need here today to take away from this reading? What word of advice here, Gordon Angels? Thank you.
Let's see what we have here for you, Saggies. Wow, we have let go, archers, okay? So your guardian angel, Sagittarius, really want you to let go of people, places, and situations that no longer resonate with you, okay? This X here, honey, it's time to let them go, okay? I know, I understand, but this person is holding you back from meeting your soulmate. You guys always say, when is my person coming in? When is my soulmate coming in? When you release these people here that no longer resonates with you and taking up a lot of space and energy here around you, when you, the more you clean up your house, the more you clean out mess and, um, you know, a lot of stuff that you may have kept up for so long, then you're going to start noticing people coming in, new energies coming in, money coming in, all of that. Some of y'all just need to do a good cleanup, a good sweep of people, situations, circumstances that you no longer dealing with. That also what they mean as well. Letting go of people who just don't want to see you happy. Okay? Because your guardian angels is really trying to make room for this new person. For the ones that haven't even met this person yet. But it's time to let go. It's time to let go of your ex. It's time to let go of your ex. It could be your ex-spouse, your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend, your ex-friends, your ex-family members. Whoever's an ex, it's time to let them go, Archer, so you can get the love of your fucking life here. All right, Sagittarius? Wow. Beautiful spread here, Archers. Again, you know I'm telling you that from a place of love. You know I love you, Archers, all right? But it's definitely time to release so you can get the love of your life here, okay? I love you all so much, Sagittarius. Thank you again, Soul Tribe, for your continuous love and support. Again, if you have enjoyed the energies and you would love to join the Soul Tribe, click that join link down below, all right? Join me on the other side, all right? And shout out to all of you for your continuous love and support. I appreciate you all. All right, congratulations, Sagittarius. It's well overdue for you. I am so happy for you guys, okay? So enjoy the moments with this person. Get to know yourselves. Love yourself, all right? Focus on the color pink with us as a community this week. Go out and get you a rose quartz crystal, all right? And bring in love, Archers. I love you. You guys take wealth. And remember, excuse me, that is what they wanted me to tell you, Archers. Take care of your health, honey. It's trying to come out, okay? Your health is your wealth. And if you're not taking care of your health, you won't be able to enjoy that beautiful wealth coming in of yours, okay, honey? All right, I love you, Archers. You take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.